in in like the five matches he played in Top Cut so far, like he two won uh, Red Moon, right? And he two owed Rishi, and he didn't pick Tortnite in any of those games. And Tortnite was never banned. And to be honest with you, I don't think he picks it here either. Every single Tem except for uh, Minotaur hits Tortnite for two X damage. Rough. It's a rough time to be a turtle, man. Lawaddle, Moments. Is Moments a Moments is a frog, is it, or is it a turtle? Moments is a turtle, right? Moments, Tortnite, Lawaddle. It is a it is a tough time in Tem Tem to be a turtle. Hmm. What club uh Silicon in? I'm pretty sure Silicon is in Enigma. Enigma. Moments Sakura is a snapping turtle. Picked up first. Hmm. It's a good time to be a monkey, though. That's a good point, Zolray. It is an excellent time to be a monkey. So let us get back into this match, East. Um, it is a best of three Saku. finals off. Yeah. Saku off the rip. That's kind of interesting from me from Lulu. How fast is Lulu Saku? I think we're about to find out. It's like... If he could P-Jab into Noxious Bomb here, that would be pretty good. Oh, sorry, H-Slap onto Noxious Bomb. That would be pretty good onto the Scaravolt opener here. If not, like, Monka Scaravolt. This is kind of rough for uh, for Lulu. I think he needs to pick Seismunch here, but it's, like, slow. Seismunch is definitely slow here, I think. <clears throat> and... You know, if Kino is beta boosting the size much and there is a reactive wall, then Thunderstrike can kill the size much, you know? Yeah. Most size munches die to it, but I don't know if Luluch has specifically made a size much related to that or around that. Well, it like size much has no turn one earth move, right? So, uh, Silicon is pretty free to just like T strike left if he wants to. And like beta burst the size it's like really interesting lulu had blue here but i don't think the saku first is like actually helping him out very much like it doesn't stop silicon for just going for his like he knew plus one game plan which he kind of goes for off of every lead like see he lets him have the token he bans out Volfi in addition to the golzi and that's kind of clearing a path for gario to be quite strong if uh some of the other stuff is removed but like Lulu's got four wins, and he's staring down a uh, Scaravolt here, and he, all he's got to protect himself is the Size Munch and Haito, so that's kind of nice. But, you know, Lulu is really good for a reason, so let's see if what if there's a method to the madness here as we enter game number one of this best of three. Uh, this is an incredibly bulky bug. Just chilling at plus two, plus two defenses, 60% HP, and Silicon can just leave turn one. And all of a sudden, it is at 70% health. It's not the safest play for him to leave, though, so we'll see what he gets up to here. I think the size much is Arvile, and I wonder if Silicon had, has scouted that, if he knows it. Because Beta Burst Thunderstrike onto Reactive Vile Size Munch would be pretty rough for Lulu turn one here. Oh man. There's the Beta. There's the Arvile. He just goes for Helicopter Kick. getting slapped just trying to work on the on the uh yeah yeah yeah. i like that just work a little bit on it oh the thunder strike though this is gonna hurt not enough to bring it down though the size of which lives on just two hp that's a tough break for uh silicon as now we can see that uh yo yo saga you okay i have a uh, as in Chat, we're saga. Uh, the size munch has got that 0.5% left. So now uh, size munch direct looks pretty good here. 
Harvesto probably has to leave. It's kind of an awkward swap for, uh... Oh, but Lulu leaves instead. I wonder if Silicon stays. I don't think so. He, he probably has to leave on, on the Scarable here. Yes, he does leave on the Scarable. Alright, so great positional swap here by Lulu. Water takes a little bit of damage, but it doesn't matter that much. Humiliating slap and just kind of working on the Kinu. Saku just spreading damage. We do see the Mom's Lunch kind of cutting into its output a little bit here. But the Synergy Debris Typhoon is about to claim some heads. Uh, not a lot that swaps into it that well, Silicon Side, except maybe Harvesto. It does look pretty good for Scaravolt here, actually. While Lulu can work on it with Humiliating Slap, just get its defenses a little bit further down. But there's a lot of priorities for them to take down. Yeah, um, okay, so the Hypnosis. Wow, that's a fast Hypno. Oh, it's targeting the Saku, but it looks like no fire move was chosen. But the bait! Saku absolutely jabalt Silicon Snipe. And oh boy, Debris Typhoon time. The A Slap's gonna put Kinu in that range. Oh boy, 103 damage. See ya. Down it goes, and that means you'll see Depress target water. I think that is just just enough to put the token down on ticks. There's not quite a fire move left on Harvesto unless he's going for Meteor Swarm, but I don't know if I quite see that as an option, but this is a great uh, bring-in of Harvesto or Silicon. Do you know they run Shelter on this thing? I'm pretty sure they run Shelter. So, probably not Meteor Swarm coming out here. Electric Storm looks pretty fair. But Lulu probably just needs to stay in and get value on this token. Yeah, I can see a tornado being lined up. Nah, just, an, just a humiliating slap. That's fair. Just trying to let that Synergy Debris Typhoon do its work. Look at this damage. It's hyper-efficient. Nidrasil. Feeling the pain. The Arbel goes off. It's gonna side Spores Harvesto, so this thing is picking it up. And the E-Storm at plus one. Ooh, both sides take pretty good damage here. Look on the other side of the field. Mario Kart is pretty free here. No mom's lunch. Arbesto lined up. A double kill in its sights. Extra bit of speed making all the difference here. And Lulu knows he doesn't necessarily need to bring in the Tatsu to give him the synergy here. Although Mario Kart. not synergized. Is it a double swap from Silicon or will it just be a single swap? Oh, Seismic Wreck goes off. Does Lulu make the read? Yes, heads up play by Lulu. Goes for the Frond Whip. Knowing he doesn't need to bring in the Tatsu. Absolutely cashes on the Seismic Wreck. Picking up two kills. And Harvesto and Harvest are all that's left for Silicon Snipe. Good news? Now there's good news here and bad news. The bad news is, is that with no size much wreck, it's gonna be pretty hard for Lulu to ever get off the attack they need to win here. 
uh, Fake Beard means that Harvesto is going to just kind of be able to do what it wants. Like, a, an Electric Storm could be pretty good. Like, Electric Storm Plasma Beam looks pretty safe. Although it did just use E-Storm already, it may not have it up. See what the Tamers go for here. The Plasma Beam? Oh, it targets the other Tem. Lulu just goes for Helicopter Kick. Humiliating Slap. Don't tell me Silicon Snipe just ignored the Size Munch. No, he doesn't ignore it. He goes for the... Okay. He goes for the Thunder Strike. That means Harvesto probably has about three moves left before it runs out of juice. That three moves might be all it takes. It's gonna be close. Susan, would you see the morale boosting whip? This puts Nut in a position where if it moves, it dies. That actually creates a pretty simple line of play for Silicon Snipe here. Just going for that. Maybe a Thunderstrike? Maybe an Electric Storm? They have plenty of damage. Lulu. With only wins left, that X4 weakness, water in the back. Will it make an appearance here? Can I share my Discord screen? Yeah, one sec. There we go. Oh, the double takes down. All right, so this is the moment of truth here. We see double H slap. Is this enough? Oh, but Harvest has Bush. Oh, tough break for Lulu. Well played by Silicon, going towards the endgame. They get it again. Blue or no blue, Silicon Snipe. Down it goes. All right, game number two. So I believe the bands were Nagais, and on this side, I believe Silicon opted for the Volfi ban. Same bands as game number one. Lulu now on uh, what looks like a size opener this time on blue. Silicon goes right back with what looks like the same opener. No, they're going to go comma this time. Ooh. Staring down this opener, will they go for the Saku again? Or will we see the Tolkien come out? He knows it lives with 0.5, yeah. The math is going to change. Go for the Saku again. 
Silken bans out the Golzi, so here's where Lulu has the opportunity to diverge. Once again, they can make a different choice than they made in game number one. I believe they banned out Ukama in game number one. Nope, they're just going to run it back. Two guy picked up. Obi-10 Nidrasil. Let's do Minotaur this time. Tolkien will not be making an appearance. There we go. So we're going to get almost a pure run back. Here we go. The only difference in the draft from last match is we're going to see a last pick Minotaur from Lulu instead of uh, the... Uh, token. So no token this time. So last time, Mario Kart managed to live on 0.5% here. I wonder if they take the swap out instead, but there isn't. There just isn't a great swap in or uh, what Harvesto can do here. The size bunch is probably just going to take the damage once more. So Mario Kart lived on 0.5% last time. It looks like both players are staying in there. Just going to run it back here. Yeah, heat up this time on the size instead of helicopter kick. That's an important difference. Plus two size rec or uppercut or punch. Pretty strong there. And silicon splits damage. That's very interesting. It turns on bait, but not the part of it that gives Vigorized. But this is already a much worse board state for Silicon Snipe. Seismon Drag is up. Seismon is plus two. And Silicon has to very carefully consider what they're going to do with Harvesto here. Because if they leave on Harvesto and Lulu leaves on Size, all of a sudden the board strongly shifts towards Lulu. Interesting choice by Silicon to split damage on this turn. I wonder if they just felt like the Saku stops the Gario from popping off. I'm not entirely sure why they did that, but maybe their game plan just revolves around getting the Saku down a little bit earlier than they did last game. Uh, triggering the bait early is also interesting too. Means that Saku kind of has less application. So Lulu brings in Madrid here. He swaps out. Silicon likewise does the same. Both players afraid to give up that advantage. Nidrasil comes in. So this is a better board state than the last time this swap happened. Turbine is going to shred some Kinu, but it's not enough to bring it down. And Kinu lands the stone wall onto the Nidrasil. All of a sudden, without the Tolkien, Lulu has only physical attackers. Silicon Snipe gets a lot of value out of the stone wall, except... The sleep control aspect from Mudrid, sleep control and purgation, give it a really nice option. But Mudrid only has plus one speed, so it might not be able to get ahead of the Kinu this turn. Creates an opportunity for Silicon to get a revit in, or maybe a beta burst if they want, just to put not in a tough spot, but they're gonna leave instead. Harvest comes in. The other side, Hasty Lunge coming out from Minotaur. See, it's not Taser. It is Adrenaline Shot. We know that. Humiliating Slap, working on that plus two defense. Meanwhile, 
Depress coming in. That's a lot of value that Silicon Snipe's gonna get. The set damage plus the Toxic Ticks. The Stone Wall is in line for a reset, though. Size Munch can come in and turn on Synergy Black Hole here. But Mudrid has to be so careful. Even a plus two speed, a Plasma Beam lining up onto it from here could be devastating. So far, both players trading HP fairly evenly. Silicon does have that very buffed up Harvesto that Lulu has to worry about. And that Gario kind of looming in the back. Saku feeling a little bit worse for wear maybe. No longer has the bait. So Toxic Ink starts to get really, really strong against it. Uh, the Nidrasil is... Uh, this is actually kind of important. Nidrasil is notably uh, reactive vile. So if Lulu is able to somehow turn on the Arvile and then get Seismunch Wreck in place, they're going to be able to ignore its resistances. Might be something Lulu's angling towards here. Hypnosis is going to come out. It's going to go into Harvest. We'll put it to sleep. The Lightning Slap comes out. Still just working on that defense, taking away that stone wall. Nut does overexert. And the side spores is gonna wake up. We do see not the alerted status, but the regen status will pass over onto the Nidrasil. That puts Depress up. Mudred's over or sorry, Nut is overexerted. Lulu a bit on the back foot here. Needs to make a reposition play. Silicon Snipe. Now maybe feeling a little bit free. Start to buff up their team here as we see the Mudred take the rusher penalty. It's going to swap out. Tag team online now. Tatsu coming in. Morale boosting whip. Oh, but it eats a plasma beam on entry. And the depress is gonna finish off nut, so the morale boosting whip won't take effect on anything. But Saku would have gone down to a tink there, so Lulu probably pretty happy that Yoshikage lost its um, sorry, that Yoshikage lost its uh, effect from that. I like this play a lot from Lulu. He knows that Yoshikage is reactive vile, so there's a great opportunity for him here because Feather Gatling from Water will turn on that Arvile and make it so that the Noxious Bomb does extra damage. He knows that Harvest does not have any electric attacks. So it can't really do that much to stop this play. And Toxic Ink will deal a lot to Water, but it may be able to just keep kind of pushing through and weakening it, giving Seismunch the opportunity to sweep the rest of the team in the late game. Lulu has to push through this Nidrasil if they're going to be able to win the game with Seismunch. And on, Har on Silicon Snipe's side, they have to keep this Gario in a good enough position that it can fight the size much back the other way when Lulu gets it in play. seconds left on one of their turn timers. This is the finals. Things are getting tense. Nidrasil swaps out. Oh, it comes the Kinu coming in. This is interesting. The mom's lunch. Silicon just trying to get that value play and slow the game down a bit. Plasma Beam coming in. Tag Team giving that bulk. There's the Shwinhorn Nox Bomb. Does he target? He does. He targets the Obi-Ten. This is gonna hurt. Harvest is taken down. It was costly to both Tim's stamina pools, but that's a big pickup for Lulu Troar. Now the Gario comes in, and this is. 
can't be too upset about this if you're Lulu Troar, because Silicon Snipe is expending the autonomy charge on their Garyo if he chooses to hit it. Opens it up for a helicopter kick from Seismunch to do pretty big damage. And of course, Lulu just has the H slap Nox Bomb to start to wreak havoc, or they could pivot, go for the Kinu. are going to retreat. Minotaur coming in instead. Try to set up a purgation, maybe. Like, love the tornado there. Echoes will fall. Hold Geyser. Just brings down the Minotaur. Three hems remaining on both sides. Mario Kart does have Size Munch's Wreck active, but it also has Helicopter Kick active and is probably slower than Water. So Water can pop the Bamboozle, enabling Lulu to get in. But even then, Zawarado can come in with this Cold Geyser. It has to live. It is going to be the Size Munch. Silicon. Goes for the Nidrasil. If this Nidrasil has Narcoleptic hit, it's make or break here for Lulu Croix. They need to get this Gario kill to stay far enough ahead in the game. If they can keep Size Munch alive to combat Harvesto, they might be able to win this game. Do they pivot? Do they go for it? Running short on both players' turns. It looks like Silicon actually is the player with the lower timer remaining. Oh, this is so clutch. Very difficult time here. See what we got. I'm ticking down. Lulu does swap out. Trying to conserve the Tem. The whip. Oh, water is in big trouble here. Spores. Instead, cold geyser. So can... Water looks like it rests here. It does. So we get the same board state here. But there's no longer same board state, but there is no longer any autonomy charge. Lulu needs to guess. This is a 50-50, because if Harvesto comes back in and it lives the double from Lulu. Oh, but it might not live the Noxious Bomb double. So much on the line here. be the tournament. This Nidrasil. Don't know if it has narcoleptic hit. I don't think it does. It might. I think it does. There's the helicopter kick. So Arudo stays in. He needs to live this noxious bomb. Here comes the big hit from Lulu. Gario goes down. Big turn. For Lulu, is that enough? The overexertion. It's depress instead onto the size munch. Oh, that's gonna drop it low. Arbesto comes in. There's the baton pass. We do know the size munch wreck is up. Lulu maybe has enough in the tank to win this. There's the size munch wreck. At plus two, this surely drops Harvesto down. Down it goes. Yoshikage takes the knockout. Silicon tries the toxic ink on the two guy, but that's not enough damage. I 
That means the double is imminent, and Lulu is going to pick up game number two, and we go to a game number three. An absolute nail-biter of a game here. The uppercut and the feather gatling are enough to pick up the W for Lulu. Does the ban change? That's interesting. Silicon now playing on blue. Will they go away from the Volfi ban? They don't. Volfi's taken out. On blue, on orange, does Lulu maybe have a ban that isn't Nagais? Hard to imagine it, but it is possible. If Lulu doesn't ban Naga, this is such a power move. Yeah, okay, Naga gets banned out. Because if Naga doesn't get banned there, Silicon has to think, oh, what's his plan to beat Naga? But it looks like the plan is to ban it. With that team. Silicon Snipe is going to go for the first pick here. They're going to run back the same two. In the face of this, I wonder if Silicon goes for Gario this time. It's going to be Ukama this time. Kinu's not picked up. This is sort of important. Of a different play here. Silicon is going to take the Golzi ban again, it looks like. So how this is significant is that Beta Burst deals more damage than Water Cannon turn 1, so it's very likely that Lulu has to, at the very least, Lulu has to swap in Tolkien on turn number 1 and pick Tolkien, which I don't think they want to do in this matchup. Otherwise, oh, it's, it's tough for Lulu. Silicon can get, can get really far ahead really fast. Gonna be Minotaur, so they might not bring to Kai this time. Maybe has to go for... Token. So, Silicon Snipe, eighth game of Top Cut they've played. Tortnite has never been banned and never been picked. Can they win a tournament with seven Thames? We're going to find out. Here we go. Game number three, last game of our finals. Silicon Snipe finally gets to pick the side. They swap out their opener. So, no Kinu this time, but a new comma. This is an interesting difference. Harvesto is liable to eat a uh, a humiliating slap here. And that makes things a little bit interesting, because then Tukai actually becomes a legitimate threat. Minus, at normal defense, Shuintorn Noxious Bomb is going to absolutely chunk Harvesto. I wonder if Silicon tries to save it. But they can't buff its defenses, so it might not be worth saving. There's a, there's a lot going on here in uh, in these opening matches, in these opening turns. Not a very straightforward opener. Not splitting damage, maybe kind of costing uh, Silicon in that second game as well. Oh, right away, turn one, we see it leave, so... Lulu committed to putting double pressure onto... Wow, look at that damage. Humiliating Slap. It is going to put Scarable in a position where now Tukai becomes a legitimate threat to it. Lulu trading the turn one Mudrid. So Minotaur is gone. Which feels pretty good if you're uh, Ukama here. But water does come back in the Tukai. This is absolutely looking like a Noxious Bomb drops Harvesto situation here. Does Silicon see it? 
do they have any way of stopping it? The Noctis Bomb Frond Whip looks pretty solid. Maybe Noctis Bomb Frond Whip on the same spot. That's a very difficult ask for Silicon Snipe to handle without giving up a Tim of their own. Only the Nidrasil takes that very well. And the Frond Whip could even go the other way and mess up the Ukama. It's tricky. Silicon's going deep into the into the thoughts here. Thinking, can they beat a full health size munch with reactive vial without their Ukama? Do they have to swap both? What is the plan? It makes a lot of sense for Dario and Nidrasil to come in here. I wonder what side each one goes in. I think there's a safe swap that Silicon Snipe has here, but you're still on the back foot up against Double Wind. And Gario just doesn't accomplish anything against this board, so... Silicon maybe just kind of running the calc, seeing if Harvesto dies to the Noxious Bomb from here. It almost certainly does. It's a hot burn. Taking their time, setting moves. Time is almost out. So we see Ukama leave. OB10 on that side. Make the read. Scarable comes out. So this is a pretty safe this is a pretty safe play coming out here. There's the synergy debris typhoon. He does call him out. Reactive out gonna help, but it's gonna mean that Schwinshorn Noxious Bomb is gonna land. It's a lot of damage on the Yoshikage. And all of a sudden. Silicon looking like that Nidrasil is just going to drop. Big plays here from Lulu in game number three. Turning on the reactive vial. Quick little plasma beam. This is going to do a little bit of damage. That Synergy Debris Typhoon just going to drop the Nidrasil. All of a sudden, Noxious Bomb is going to hit into super effective damage. And Silicon so far behind at this point now. Neither one of Ukama or Zawarudo can threaten this board state, so Silicon has to make good on the bush here. Arbesto comes in. Past, so it's got a little more HP to work with. It needs to know whether or not this bush is going to be able to make it count. But on the other hand, Lulu has the size munch. It can come in. Saku just getting so much value for Lulu here. Blinks. Out comes the Tukai. Doesn't run it down. Oh, but the Plasma Beam. Silicon makes the read. No bush there. The Thunder Strike. Gonna strike 
Oh, it's into the into the Saku. He doesn't cover the size munch. Bait is active. Size munch takes the burn, but now Bush is up once more. The frond whip brings down the Obi Ten. There's no Bush left. With the size munch arvaled up, it can live. The Ukama's water uh, aquatic whirlwind. This is a uh, not looking good for Silicon Snipe here. As much does have wreck available, Zawarado likely leaves for Ukama here. But that board just cannot pressure the Saku at all. Silicon may be regretting this Ukama pick a little bit. A little bit less of a utility value compared to the Kinu. See what the Tamers go for. Size so Trek comes out. He just stays in and takes it. Harvesto drops. Silicon may have run out of time. There's the Debris Typhoon. Gold Geyser. Oh, that's just not very much damage. Silicon behind the 8-ball now. Frond Whip takes a kill on either side. This board state just not able to do damage to Tukai either. Lulu taking command. Game number three is Silicon turning on the Arvile but not securing the Thunder Strike onto that spot. Yeah, the Aquatic Whirlwind comes out, but it's not enough. Helicopter kick. Does a ton of damage. Cold Geyser has to take down the Saku here. No, we're not quite enough. Even then, it was a long shot. Frond Whip is going to pop Ukama, and that is going to do it for Silicon Snipe. Lulu is our Legacy Cup champ, it looks like. Legacy Cup 29. And respectfully bows out. Lulu picks up the W.